Okay, the wait is over. I am here. Your host, Daniel Sun. The only developer of Sun Studios. Welcome to the stream. Today, we are going to be launching a new browser game. Sorry about the inception just now. We're going to be launching a new browser game onto newgrounds.com. It is a branch of my Steam game, um, Wings Rearms, which I'm sure you all know about. Um, Wings Rearms is a, uh, a Steam title I'm working on. It's in Steam Early Access. It launched into Early Access in May 2015. And so that's over one year in early access. I'm still working on Armed of Wings, rearmed. Let's just bring up the store page. And I also should get the chat box handy. We have a comment in the chat. I can't pronounce your name. So I apologise, so I'll just respond in the chat. <coughs> okay, so... This is Armed of Wings Rearmed. The Steam game that I've been developing. It's a 2D action platformer. Plays a samurai warrior known as the Lone Warrior. And his companion Eagle. And there are 40 levels. Uh, story... Story modes, uh, boss battles, survival modes versus multiplayer. Uh, quite a fair bit of content, and I felt like I really, I really wanted to share that content, uh, share some of that experience with, with people, and return to my my uh, early developer roots as a, as a Newgrounds game developer and animator. And so, I have created this, right here. We have another person who's joining the chat, The Daily Comic. Hello! I'm just uh, running everyone through what's happening today. So what we're looking at here is the new Flash game that I'll be releasing onto new rounds. Called, ooh, it's called Rearmed Trials. I might just go ahead and change the name. Rearmed Trials. There we go. And uh, now I'll give you guys a little demonstration. Before we hit the publish button and get this bad boy onto Steam. Sorry, not Steam, New Grounds. It's been a long day, I tell you what.
main menu for Riam Trials. It's this cool little cliff scenery with the lone warrior standing on the edge of his, his pet bird. Now Riam Trials is, uh, is the survival mode portion of Arms Fleets. But it's survival mode with, with a couple of improvements, or at least some suitable changes for the browser game. So let's let's fire it up. Also, even though it's running in the browser, it totally supports game pads. So, uh, survival mode is what it sounds like: waves of enemies, um, waves of enemies, you against the board. Kill as many as you can and score a. Get a high score, beat your own record. The game supports online leaderboards. And if you have a, a new, new grounds account, you'll be able to compare your score to other new grounds. Yeah, we can do some really cool acrobatic combat. A lot of the combat is modeled around. Um, Certain aspects of uh, Super Smash Brothers and other fighting games like you know, Smash Bros. A bit of inspiration from Street Fighter as well. It's really a, a blended cocktail of different combat mechanics that I've really enjoyed in other games. So you have A, which is your attack button. A will do your standard attack. You can combine A with directional, like uh, holding up on the joystick, up, down. Or, change your, um, your attack to do an uppercut or more of a forward lunge. The other attack button you have is B. Like in Super Smash Bros, it's more of a ability, special ability type of um, attack. You just get some distance from these enemies. So B will do a forward, um, a forward dash, take out enemies, directly in front of you. Up B will do a very powerful uppercut. Really handy for getting combos. And down B, if you hold it, it's uh, like a super powered, I call it power strike. The enemies spawn, obviously you have to take out it, take them out. But the idea is to try and get a, an increasingly high combo. The higher the combo you get, the quicker you'll be able to unlock these new weapon drops over here. These white enemies that spawn uh, contain a weapon drop. Um, the white enemies are also a lot harder. They, uh, they, they defend and, and dodge your own attacks. But if you manage to kill them, they'll drop an item, a weapon that will improve your overall stats, your speed, your strength, your life. And uh, that's part, that's key to um, progressing throughout survival and getting a high score. <coughs> a lot of work has gone into the game tonight in preparation for launch. I've made a whole bunch of bug fixes. I've made sure that the mouse, uh, mouse support works. I mean, I think that's pretty standard. But actually, this game was built in Steam without any mouse input. So creating a cursor that, um, creating a cursor and injecting that into uh, all the menus was uh, it's not, not super hard, but just time consuming. We have the leaderboards over here, Newgrounds leaderboards. You can see we've already got a few scores. Ryan right there on the bottom somehow. And you can sort the scores by today. 
like this week. They're all going to be the same because all these stores are pretty fresh. Got the settings, use the music, turn off sounds, visual effects just like in the Steam version. Controls are laid out. Uh, the game should be intelligent enough to detect if the controller is present. So if I unplug my Xbox control now, as you can see, I just unplug that. Uh, that means if I go back to the control menu, oh, I just discovered a bug. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's refresh. Take a look at the game again. Once the Xbox controller is still unplugged. I'm gonna use the keyboard to navigate to the settings. The problem was just now that I wasn't able to exit the settings, but I was still able to... I was able to exit the settings, but it, the, the settings were still covering it, the entire game screen. Controls, S for back. Plug the Xbox control in while the game is running. Let's see if I can use the control. Yes, I can. Let's see if it detects. There, yeah, and it's detected that it's a control. Okay. Seems to be a pretty tiny bug. Let's do one more round of survival, <coughs> and then we might uh, we might hit the launch on this bad boy. <coughs> so my best score is 951. Let's see if I can't do that. I've also put in some countermeasures to uh, stop people from exploiting the combo system. Say, like bouncing enemies against the wall indefinitely. So once an enemy has low health, the more you hit it, the further its velocity will increase, and eventually you just won't be able to, to continue your combo on that end. You 
new record. There we go. I beat my score of 930 something just before I died. Awesome. I'm trying to think if there's any bugs that I've left behind or if there's anything major that I haven't yet done. But I think I'm actually going to clear. Bear with me a moment.
And I am back. Back to business. Launching a game onto Newgrounds.com, which is always exciting. I haven't uh, published an Armed Wings game onto Newgrounds in five years, if you can actually believe it. 2008 saw the launch of Armed Wings 1, and I believe in the same year it was followed up. I followed up with Armed Wings 2. That's actually. Double check that because Newgrounds gives us a really sweet breakdown of all the submissions in a calendar year. So there we go, 2008 saw Armed with Wings 1 and 2. A lot of silhouette games actually, wow, that was like my thing. That launched in April 25th, 2008, and was played 236,000 times on Newgrounds. <coughs> Armed of Wings 2 came out only a couple months later in December, and that was played 300,000 times on Newgrounds, sponsored by Armour Games. The first two in the series were sponsored by Armour Games. Red Moon came out in 2009 in April 23rd, with nearly 500,000 views. I then released Bro Rocks at Shit, which is one of the greatest games that I've ever created. Me and my programmer buddy, Scuba Steve, together. We combined our genius and our talent and created Bro Rocks at Shit. It's brilliant. Oh, let's have a quick game, actually. You can't not walk by Throw Rocks at Shit and not play it. It's very simple for you. Throw these stones at the moving poo and stop it from travelling into the water. <coughs> <coughs> the game features sad music and increasing difficulty. It also um, It's uh, a shocking thing, really. Throw rocks at shit. The sad thing about playing that game is that I don't think I'll ever be able to to hit that apex again of of infamy or genius, but. But maybe, maybe Rearm Trials that's going to release today, that might actually, uh, maybe that will live up. Maybe that can live in the shadow of, of uh, Throw Rocks of Shit. The next Sound of Wings game came out in 2010, so directly that. So 2009 saw Red Moon and nothing else. And then Rearm of Wings 3 came out, I believe it was in December, no, November 7th. And, wow, that did twice as good as Red Moon with 977,000 977, views on Newgrounds. That's pretty cool. And then following that year, in 2011, I delivered... It was only one year. I remember when I was making t uh, Culmination towards the end of development. I, w I was thinking to myself, oh, it's been so long since I've delivered an Armed of Wings game. Oh, it's been like 10 months. Ooh, that's nothing. That is... Delivering an Armed of Wings game a year was pretty good. Somehow, in my earlier days, I was able to do two games in one year. But... Either way, Culmination did 500,000 views on Newgrounds, and it came out when, I think it was November as well. November 24th, 2011. That's a good game, by the way. If you haven't played Culmination, then you should probably do that. It's an oldie, it's from 2011, but, but it's a goodie. That's for sure.
Then I made Melon Run and Mega Bowl the Rampage, Samurai Autumn, Lovely Bird, collaboration with my good friend Callum Stamp, Amy Fury, which is a collaboration with some dude, and Super Muzzle Flash, which of course is a Dime Studios game. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon. Um, I think I'm actually like starting to get a bit sick. Either that or the cigarettes are starting to get to me. So I think it's time to publish this game, but not before giving it one more run through. Just to make sure that there's nothing crazy that I forgot. Let's see. Let's test everything, right? The boss battles. I mean, sorry, this, uh, this ad for the Steam game works if you click on it. Takes you to the uh, Steam page. Yes, yes, that's very good. Uh, for the fellow in the chat whose name I can't pronounce, I'm going to call you Zao, if that's alright, because Z-A-W is like Zao. And uh, Vincent Tan is, um, is reminiscent in the chat, and uh, you know what, I can feel you. Um, reminiscent too. Culmination was a, was a good game. Armed of Wings 3, all those classic, and, and Throw Rocks at shit as well. Definitely. Uh, really good games. Sometimes you can skip that Sun Studios splash screen. Sometimes you can't. And that's a problem with uh, the Steam release as well. Jack Joker says, I taught a Zao a putty tat. I taught I Zao a putty tat. I thought I saw a putty cat. Oh, huh. that's, a, that's a Warner Rose reference. Very good. Okay, skip that, cool, music, all that, leaderboards work, yes, leaderboards work, settings work, yes, I've already tested the settings, uh, I'll try it on invert just to make sure, yes, it inverts everything, let's try it on black, yep, that works too, and color, sweet. Game button works, yes that does. It does. You can see it works. Start game. I just had the idea of starting um testing with a fresh save file <coughs> so that I can run through the, through the tutorial and make sure that the tutorial is working. That'll be the last thing I test and then I'm going to hit publish. Cut your browser volume by half at least. Can't hear you over it very well. Oh, that's a problem. All right, well, um, I can do that. Actually, you're right. It, uh, I, um, I actually put it up when I went on a break and I forgot to take it back down. So that is now being fixed. Now I'm pretty sure because I'm playing this on Edge browser, this is going to be a new game which will. Let me refresh that and unplug this Xbox control. I want to play the game without an Xbox control. Make sure it gives me all the keyboard bindings, which it seems it does. Settings, controls, yes. Start game. Arrow keys to move, yay! Well done, that's awesome. D to defend. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Now I know I can block attacks. Oh, you can you can dodge. Oh, you can do like jump dodges. There's more to that. I see. That's pretty cool. 
auto attack. Yep, pretty straightforward. Down and S to power strike. Uh, oh, okay. Down and S to. Oh, you can charge. You can charge the power strike. That's pretty sick. Survive and score. Got it. Oh, that was some flashy lightning. That's pretty cool. Ho, 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 ho. What is that giant thing in the middle of this, uh, of this arena? It looks like some kind of ancient weaponized relic stone. Hmm, that's certainly uh, stimulating my interest. I'm just pretending to be a casual, casual gamer. Running through the thoughts of a casual gamer. Look at this guy YouTube reviewing his own game. Well, hopefully, um, uh, my speech mannerism is such that it's like come, it comes across as really, really sarcastic. Last thing I want to do is come across as some kind of um, self ego, ego bloated um, fool or something along those lines. Cool. Looks like the game's working. Got myself to get killed real quick. Do casual gamers think about what they see? I thought it was more of a sixth sense thing. Um, there probably is. Actually, the definition for casual gamers has changed. Uh, casual gamers are like, well, rather, the rise in popularity of like professional gamers. They have assumed the title of core gamers. And so someone like me, who well, I thought I was a core gamer, I'm not a core gamer anymore because I don't pr play in the professional league. Um, I am actually considered a casual gamer. I've heard people refer to Call of Duty players as casual gamers, but yet Call of Duty is a yeah, it's a core game. It's a core gamers game. So yeah, so it's a weird thing in the industry that I have noticed. Just want to beat my high score real quick to see if that's uh, in working order. There we go, new record. Fantastic. Best. Now I'll just let myself get killed again. <coughs> Fantastic. Back to the main menu. I have a high score of 222. I'm going to refresh the page and see if the game remembers that detail. Two two two. It does. The game's ready to be published. So let's just get on with it, right? After all, this stream is titled "How to Launch a Free Game onto New Grounds." I think. Uh, all right. So. Rearmed Trials Preview Developer Message Is that how you spell message or is that massage? <coughs> A 
verbal, written, or recorded communicate. Yeah, that's I've spelled poorly. After a five-year absence, absence, armed with wings, returns to new grounds. I'm just, I'm reading it really, or like bluntly, just to make sure that there's no spelling errors. Rearmed trials is just a sample. Rearmed trials is just a sample of the Steam early access release. But make no mistake, this Flash version features a unique survival mode. That's really... I need to change that, that's weird. After a five year absence, Armed of Wings returns to Newgrounds. Capital N. Rearmed Trials. Experience, uh, experience, no, no, I'm not trying to sell, this is a developer note. After a five year absence, all of things finally returns to Newgrounds. How do I feel about that, returning to Newgrounds? I feel really excited about having a new game on Newgrounds. Uh, so I should explain that. I'm really stoked to release a new um, Flash game. Uh, I feel like I'm Now, dude, that's how I feel, so I should write that. I'm really stoked to release a new Armor Wings Flash game. Um, I hate writing, you know, it's just something I hate. After, five, after a five year absence, Armor Wings returns to new grounds. I'm really stoked to release a new Armor Wings Flash game. After such a long time. You know, I'll just really condense that. I'm super stoked to be releasing a new to have a new this game here on new grounds. <coughs> Care has gone into crafting this bite-sized experience. I don't know if I want to write that this experience. Not bite-sized. <coughs> Xbox Gamepad and Chrome. Chrome users may need to invert right joystick access. Game will prompt on main menu. That's fine. Rearm Trials. Take up your sword, bathe your enemies in thunder, steel and mist. Armed of Wings is a dilapidated world waged in war. How long can you survive? Rearm Trials is a meaningful example. I hate names. Is an example. Offers a wild taste of its Steam counterpart, Arm of Wings Round. Battle it out against the Horde of Imperials. Collect weapon pickups to boost your stats. Trials features robust and layered combat system. Trials features a robust and layered combat system, get massive combos and high scores. Xbox 360 controller supported. Controls, keyboard, yada yada yada, arrow keys movement, A attack, S power strike, D block. 
controls Xbox, joystick, D-pad movement, A attack, B power attack, right trigger, right block, engage. Craving more round, craving more round, get armed wings round on Steam early access. Get the full armed wings round on Steam early access. Is Steam Early Access. Please follow me here on New Grounds. If you want Pretty. <coughs> Super stoked to have released a new Island of Wings game here on Newgrounds after such an extended absence. Much care has gone. Much care has gone into crafting this experience. I hope you all have a fantastic time playing the game. Chrome is yada yada yada. I've read it all. It's all good. Yes, yes, yes. Take up your sword. Bathe your enemies in thunder, steel, and mist. Armed of Wings is a. Ugh. One more thing to adjust. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's ready to submit. This is the moment of truth. Uh, publish game. And submit. And don't forget to add the Discord. I will add the Discord. You will see. It will happen. It's going to be rad. Alright. I uh, wonder if my game has been published because it looks like the Newgrounds page has not uh, redirected me or I haven't hit submit. Uh, but it appears to be out. Yeah, baby. Look at that. That's so cool. I finally released something on Newgrounds after like so long. I mean, I've, I've released stuff on Newgrounds, but not Arm of Wings. Rearm Trials. I read it slowly just to make sure it's not. Uh, there's no mistakes. Take up your sword. Bathe your enemies in thunder, steel, and mist. <coughs> The game is now under judgment, and if you know anything about Newgrounds, that means you have to vote it. You have to vote five. It's, oh, it's so important. It's crucial that you vote five. <coughs> I'm gonna post the link in the chat. Here is where you can play the game. I'm gonna post it in the Discord. That's the link right there. We hit this play button, it'll load the game, and I'm going to vote 5 on it, that's, that's usually what I do when I first release something on Two Grounds, I start, the, I, I vote 5, I wouldn't vote anything other than 5 on my own content. Now I'm going to go ahead and update my... Uh, current post. We need to change the messaging. got Treble Cleffy in the chat being like you. Pretty happy and all. I'm pretty happy too. Time to finally play it. Yes indeed. Isn't this exciting? We've already got people playing it. Don't forget to vote five. 
Three armed trials is out on new ground. Let's give it a really like super happy face. There we go. Uh, paste the link. <coughs> Everyone gets to play now. Everyone can play. Everyone can taste armed wings. You know, it was a strange. There is a. It is kind of strange having Armed Wings One being played two hundred thousand times. Well, actually, if you count all the websites that Armed Wings being played on, like Newgrounds, Armor Games, Congregate, Mini Clip, etc., 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 Armed Wings One has been played well over a million times, and Armor Wings Two has been played. Over. They've all been played well over a million times, and I think even Armor Wings Three maybe has been played. 20 million times nearly. Something like that. <coughs> or viewed, whatever. I mean, it's not going to be entirely accurate, but the, the number is, is large and that's it's pretty it's pretty cool. So, but, but pre-armed, because it's on Steam and it's a totally different market, it hasn't really done those numbers. Um, of course, it's a, like I said, it's a different market, it's a different product. It's a paid product, so I'm not going to get that kind of influx. But by releasing a small snippet, a really tight experience that is free for everyone to play. <coughs> I expect it to do good things for the brand. The Q key, that's a good suggestion, Jack Joker. I could or very easily put a Q, the Q key to uh, go back in menus. It'd be so simple, I can do that for you if you like. Steam. We are currently Rearmed Trials is not now in new grounds. Explanation Bold. Hyperlink.
Right, now that the game is out, what do I do now? I mean, I know I have a lot of work to do now. Oh my goodness, I have a lot of work to do now. But, you know, it's certainly a milestone. I feel like I can just kind of take a moment here and just, just be like, what am I doing? I need to share this on the social media channels. Can't just... Silly Daniel trying thinks he can just sit around and do nothing after he's launched his game. Uh, I'm gonna go to the portal. There we go, Rian. What else have I uh, actually? <laughs> I wonder what I'm up against today on Newgrounds. I didn't, uh, haven't really, haven't really bothered to check. I guess I'm just that confident in my product, which may be completely foolish. Mission is on judgment. I've got to copy the link. And I've got to take that link around to Bearsberg. Uh, Sal says, Dan, my game don't load. Never mind, it unstucked. That's really good because if it did get stuck, ugh, I wouldn't want to fix it, but I know I'd have to. Um, Jack Joker says something. It says a few things. Keyboard has a pause button. I've actually run into games that use it too. Oh wow, your keyboard's like got a for real pause button. Never seen that before. Time to skits out on the Underwings page, let everyone know that the good news that a new game has launched, New Grounds. It says pause break image of moon on it. What? A lot of keyboards have it. Oh, he's talking about the keyboards. Right, right, right. I got invisible wall in tutorial. Damn. What do you mean you got an invisible wall in this tutorial? Yeah, you have to explain that more actually. What do you, you can tell me exactly what's happening with this, with this invisible wall.
Something is pulling me backwards. Is anyone else also having that issue? An enemy disappeared. Lol, what is actually happening to me? Um... I'm not sure if it is intended, but you go off the side and it takes you back to the start, so you, you stay in the tutorial area. Yeah, that's right, but I'm not sure if that's what Zhao is describing, but it might be. Twitter needs to know. Where are you guys posting in Discord? Because I don't see... Wait, wait, here we go, here we go. Let's have a look and see what the issue is. enemy. That's strange. Um, can you try restarting the game? Just like refresh the web page and see if it happens again.
get stuck. Let's just see if it happens to me. So, move around, do some weird stuff, move around, screw around, keep moving. Defend. Dodge around. There's a guy. Yeah, it seems to work. Now everything is normal. Alright, so I'm not sure why that would happen. And I'll keep it in mind. If it happens again, then um, I'll do something about it. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Um, I think that's probably that's probably it for the stream. Now I've got to go and do a lot more emailing, and that's not going to be the most interesting thing to stream. So thank you everyone for joining me while I launch a game onto Newgrounds. Uh, so you know this video will be published onto my YouTube channel, and you'll be able to see that at the start of the video, Armed of Wings uh, Rearm Trials wasn't on Newgrounds, but at the end of the video, Rearm Trials is actually on new grounds and and that's just that's just cool so thank you for stopping by everyone and have a fantastic day and i'll all have a fantastic day as well <laughs>